Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a what I wore in a week slash about six outfits over the space of about a week and a half because let's be honest for half of that time I definitely just stayed at home all day working in my slobs, cheese and bean stains down my pyjamas, classy times, generally looking like a complete scruff. So here are six outfits that I've worn recently that I really really like. Let's get cracking because otherwise I'll be here forever. As always if you want to keep up to date with me, if you want to chat to me head over to Instagram, it's at our next door. I post my daily outfits, I post things that I'm loving like baths and pancakes and waffles and all the good food. I have celiac disease as well so if you are London based or you go to New York a lot or you travel a lot because I do as well then definitely go and check that out. But yeah apart from that here's what I'm wearing. As soon as I did that I knew I was going to do something really uncool. Stop doing that. Just stop. Outfit number one. This day I just had a few meetings and had a couple of conference calls so I knew I would just be meeting people, seeing a few people, sitting in a coffee shop. Basically I wanted to look semi-presentable but also super comfortable so I went for a really new addition to my wardrobe which is a shirt slash blouse from a brand called Stay Sunny Chicago. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. They're new to me. Um, I very luckily had an email from them saying would you like to try something and oh my god I am absolutely obsessed with the brand. The shirt that I have is a white sort of see-through mesh shirt with like thankfully <laughs> a bit of what am I trying to say I'm not saying anything I'm just doing this weird boob thing mesh lining some kind of lining to you know actually protect some modesty um, and then the rest of it has almost like a little butterfly four leaf clover kind of thing definitely not a four leaf clover just a little bit of a pattern stuck around the blouse and I don't own anything like that I have a couple of similar things in black but I love this blouse so much I think it would be amazing for spring amazing for summer and it can work with so many pieces and I paired it with my noisy may jeans you guys know that I'm absolutely obsessed with them I wear them all the goddamn time so much so that when I left <laughs> to come home that day, I was like, not gonna lie guys, my ass is a bit breezy. When I got home and I like felt up my bum, basically I could feel my knickers because there was a giant hole at the ass. Really glad I knew about that all day long. <laughs> so I'm desperately trying to like replace my noisy may jeans. If you know of any similar of the kind of like boyfriend girlfriend style with the nice crop at the bottom, do let me know. But I paired them with those jeans and then also my new ego boots, which are like baby blue sock boots, and I'm obsessed and I love them so much. So that was outfit number one. Outfit number two, again, I had a really really casual day, so I just wore some two tone jeans from Primark. To be totally honest, the reason that I wore them is they are the softest, most comfortable things ever. So it was definitely more of a comfort thing than the fashion thing and then I paired it with what did I pair it with I paired it with a t-shirt from Dorothy Perkins which I think either says romantic or beautiful or something over the boobs what I really need to do is just stop touching my non-existent boobs I actually think it is romantic and each letter is different color and I think it's really cute paired it with my MJ slash either really really super ridiculously cool or really quite tacky white boots from Primark. I think that I'm gonna go for the former because I'm actually a little bit in love with them. And then also my quite old coat from Very UK, very.co.uk. Um, I think it was from the Michelle Keegan range. It's like a pink, baby pink, um, kind of like tailored, expressive with my arms today. <laughs> kind of straight coat which always feels quite like chic and sophisticated so I really like that and then I also paired it with the cheapest bag in existence. That's not going to be true but like a super cheap bag from Primark um, which I think was around £8 and it looks so much like the Chloe, is it the Nile bags but like the full Chloe ones not the half ones. I'm hoping you know what I mean because I don't even think I know what I mean. Outfit number three was my way of being like come on L let's try and be cool. Obviously I failed because me, but I went for a t-shirt that is actually from a brand called Marcus Lupfer. He's a super cool designer, he makes a lot of really cool t-shirts, really cool like jumpers. They're not slogans but they always have quite an iconic image on the front and this one was sent to me I think by Bobby Brown and it's limited edition. I don't actually think you can get your hands on it now but I love it so so much and I am not the kind of girl that would ever buy a designer t-shirt so obviously I feel super snazzy that I have that um, and I paired it with because me a Primark in fact lots of Primark a Primark skirt which I wear to death the black mini and then also my Primark leather jacket which annoyingly I forgot to include in my previous haul my Primark haul but I also got that as well and then the ego sock boots that dreams are made of because one they are so comfortable two I just love them I don't actually think I have a free. Nope. No. Then I just finished it off with my Gucci bag and 
that was outfit number three or four, I don't quite remember. Outfit number four was absolutely my favourite out of the whole lot. I still, I just have such, <laughs> I'm choking. I'm not joking, I'm just coughing. I have such a soft spot for this outfit because it features the royal blue Topshop suit that dreams were bloody made of. I love this suit so much, the colour is incredible, the fit of the trousers and the blazer, everything about it is so perfect and I actually wore this done up with just a bralette underneath. Sexy times people, sexy times. You're looking at me like you are the least sexy person on the planet, yes I know. And then I wore my Stan Smith trainers because I'm so into that look at the moment, like a super like chic and tailored either trouser suit or blazer suit. That was quite a hefty slap there. Um, basically something a bit tailored, paired with trainers as well, I think is really cool. And then my Gucci bag as well because one, I wear it to death and two, I just feel like it always finishes an outfit off nicely but I just love that suit and it got so, so, so many compliments over on Instagram so if you were one of the lovely people saying nice things then thank you. I don't always reply to everyone because otherwise I would just be glued to that app and I try to stay off it a little bit because it can get a bit obsessive but thank you so much for commenting if you do comment over there because honestly it always makes my day. Number five was a totally recycled outfit. I wore this back when I was in New York and I've worn it a million times since in London and I just decided to bring it out again because I love the red jumper, I love the skirt, both of them have like quite a lot of ruffle details which at first I was like is this too much ruffles and then I was like the limit doesn't exist. Paired it with my over the knee boots from I think they were River Island via ASOS um, and they're like the sock boot over the knee boots which obviously is like my dream come true and yeah I really love that outfit again it was another one that got so many lovely compliments um, and a lot of people said it was their favourite outfit actually of mine um, which is funny because it was such a like old cobbled together one and I've had each piece for, for a really long time um, but yeah I love this one and you guys know that I love a pop of red and a pop of colour so I love the whole thing together I think I wear it with my Gucci bag story of my bloody life because if you buy a Gucci bag wear it every goddamn day <laughs> And of course accessorise it with a Starbucks cup because I love coffee and the cliche life chose me. Finally, outfit number six, maybe, possibly, potentially, I think so, um, was an all Primark outfit. Absolutely not planned or intentional at all, but I pulled out my dress which you would have seen in a previous Primark haul. It's a like really fiery orangey red polka dot tea dress which I'm obsessed with. I just really really love and I paired it with the white MJ boots. I was gonna do a hee 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 then decided not and then decided to do it and I was just like just should have stuck with not doing it. <laughs> and my denim jacket as well. So a total outfit that I've worn like a million times individually with other pieces just all flung together and actually I really really liked it. That is the end of my video. I really really hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know what your favourite outfit was. As always if you see anything in store that you think would be so typical of me please let me know in the comments below or message me over on Instagram. I get quite a lot of DMs that's like you would love this jumper and I'm like yes I would. I will go and buy it now. So I love you guys for always enabling me to buy all of the clothes always. But yeah if you enjoyed the video please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new it always makes my day it just makes me so happy thank you so much for being in my little fam also we hit 30k yay i'm so not a numbers girl but it just i saw it tick over and was like this is amazing i can't believe there's so many of you watching silly old me talk about clothes and travel and all of the good things in life but i love you all so much thank you for following along on the journey if you are subscribed and if you do subscribe then i'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching Bye.